So guys, today's video is British stereotypes and myth busting. As a few people know, I'm British. I don't know if I sound British. I don't know what British people sound like, to be perfectly honest. God, I speak too fast. So today, I'm going to be breaking some British myths slash what people think British people are. I just basically defined myths. Anyway, let's go. So... The first one is the most known. British people apologise a lot. But we don't. Because in films people are like, Oh, I'm ever so sorry. Which prompts people to think, British people must be apologetic. But you wouldn't go and say, Oh, I'm so sorry. But like any other culture, you'd just say, Sorry. That's it. So, that one. Myth. This one is another one, probably the most known. British people love tea. Now, I don't see where people get this from because apparently you don't get tea as much in America. Shock horror. But I do know a lot of British people like tea. Me, personally, I'd have hot chocolate over tea all day long. And so would a lot of people I know. So, I think on that one, it's just basically what you like. That's like saying all Indians like curry, not racist. Um, or like... I'm trying to think of cultures now that are meant to like a different food. Oh yeah, all Americans like burgers and stuff. It's just not like that. Maybe some people do, but not everyone does. So that one is another myth. That we're posh, which, <laughs> as you can see by my accent, I am not posh. And as well, we use fancy words. Now, me being English, I don't use fancy words. But the stereotype is like, Oh, that was an unapod um, unapologetically non-negotiable item that has been placed in such a wrong place. No, we don't speak like that. It's like, oh, it's been put in the wrong place. So, that one, another myth that people believed. But isn't true. But that's like saying Americans abbreviate everything. They don't really. I know some posh Americans. I don't know any Americans. But I've seen posh American YouTubers, so that counts. Kind of. I need to get a life. So this one is a bit of an insult. So people think that English food is bad. I tell you what. The fish finger butty, as we all know, originated from England. Um, like if an American's watching this, they'll be thinking fish finger butty, chip butty. This is a farm about to say. But don't judge before you've tried them because they're amazing. And we, we, well, we didn't invent it, but we put it together. Fish and chips. Amazing. <laughs> and the final myth about English people is that we love the foil, the foil, royal family. Now, I can tell you now, not everyone does. And I don't. Well, I, I, I don't love them. And I don't hate them. I just think they invent the rules, so you've got to have some courtesy with them. But they're not like... I was about to say they're not like royalty, but they are. I mean, it depends what type of person you are. Um, actually, that's not the last one, because I think the last one will be this one. All English people are British. Now, England is a multicultural place. Some people are Muslims, Indians, people from Poland. I don't know what that would be called, Polish people. Poland and... Canadians, Americans, we're a multicultural place, so that one is wrong. Right, so I think that wraps it up for this video, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye!